Hi, my name is Vanessa Varjan. I'm here at the Ford Memorial Library in Ovid, New York, and I'm here today to teach you how to carve a linoleum block. This is the kit you can check out from the library. It's kit number one, and it's the linoleum carving kit. The first step is to draw out your design with pencil on your linoleum block. I've gone ahead and drawn a poppy flower on my block here in pencil. Uh, all the materials are in the kit. Uh, these are the tools that are in the art kit. In a speedball carver, and you'll see that if you open up the back, you'll have all kinds of carving tips in here. I'm going to use the larger U-shaped gouge. So if you unscrew the top, you can just slip the carving tip in there and tighten it up. We'll be using a rubber brayer for rolling the ink on our block, a baron for printing the block on paper, a regular pencil, some speedball block printing ink, this plexiglass inking plate and we'll also be using a wooden bench hook and our linoleum block. So I'm going to start with the outer border of the flower, kind of do the easier stuff first and then we'll get into doing the details, the center of the flower uh, and the stem. So the bench hook will keep your work surface from slipping around and it'll make it harder to cut yourself and it's very easy to cut yourself when you're carving linoleum because you have to put some force into the tool so just make sure your hand is never on the other side of the carving tool make sure they are always carving away from yourself I'm going to switch the carving tip to the smaller V-cut so that I can get all the details around the spikes on the poppy stem.
Now that I've done all the details around the stem, I'm going to carve out these lines here for the petals and then we'll get into doing the center. So now we're going to roll out some ink here on our inking plate. So you really don't need a lot. And I'm just going to go ahead, roll this down, going to roll it side to side a little bit. want to keep rolling it out so it's really smooth and uniform and you don't have any big chunks anywhere and you want to get this really nice noise when you roll the ink if you have too much you can roll it on a scrap piece of paper get some of the ink off. I think this looks pretty good. So we're gonna get our block and roll out the ink. What you don't want to do is just roll it once and be like, oh it's inked. You want to keep getting ink on your brayer and rolling in all different directions. And you do want to push down a little bit. Make sure you get all the corners. You should be able to see if your entire block is inked evenly. So now the best thing to do is test on a scrap piece of paper first uh, before using your nice white cardstock. Uh, just because you might want to carve some more. So I see a little piece of linoleum shaving. It's going to mess up my print, so I'm just going to take my pencil and pull that out and just roll back over this. paper down, get your bearing here, and you want to push down and rub in circles. Just make sure you don't lift your paper off your print and move it. You can also use the back of a wooden spoon to do this if you don't have a bearing. Thank you. 
That's good. We'll see how that looks. So there's our test print. Thank you for checking out kit number one and learning to carve linoleum blocks with me. I'll see you in the next video.